One evening in Tampa, Florida, a gangster named Bobby Saint and his friend Mickey tried to buy illegal guns. They used a guy named Otto to connect them with the illegal arms dealer. Otto checked Bobby's money and confirmed it was real, so the deal started. Suddenly, FBI agents surrounded them. Otto thought Bobby and Mickey were spies and pulled out his gun. An FBI agent shot Otto dead in the chaos. Bobby got scared and tried to convince the arms dealer they weren't spies, but they didn't believe him. Bobby, fearing his father's anger, fought back, but the FBI shot and killed him. Luckily, Mickey survived. In the morgue, Otto, who was thought to be dead, actually survived because he wore a bulletproof vest. Surprisingly, Otto's real identity is Frank Castle, an undercover FBI agent investigating weapon smuggling. His colleagues threw him a surprise party for completing his mission successfully. Jimmy, Frank's friend, gave him a wristwatch as a gift. Later, another agent informed Frank that one of the victims, Bobby Saint, was the son of Howard Saint, a powerful mob boss who owned a casino. Frank wasn't bothered by this news and decided to say farewell to his friends, intending to spend time with his family on vacation. However, things took a dark turn when Mickey, Frank's friend, was kidnapped by one of Howard's men named Quentin. Mickey revealed to Quentin that Bobby himself had wanted to get involved in the arms sale due to the potential for huge profits. When asked about the broker, Mickey identified Otto but mentioned that Otto was also killed in the earlier incident. Shortly after, Howard arrived at the scene with his son, John, consumed by anger over Bobby's death. Howard's rage led him to kill one of his own men for failing to protect Bobby, emphasizing the importance of his men always being by Bobby's side. Howard then instructed Quentin to find and punish whoever was responsible for his son's death. The next day, Frank returned home to his family. He spoke with his wife, Maria, and tried once more to persuade his son, Will, to move to London, promising that this would be the final time as his work was now complete. Howard mourned over Bobby's lifeless body, unable to come to terms with his son's death. He questioned Jimmy about Otto and his associates, but Jimmy, concerned for his own safety, refused to disclose any information to Howard. This reluctance hinted at the potential danger surrounding Otto and his connections. Jimmy suggested to Howard that they should let the police handle the matter regarding Bobby's death, but Howard remained silent and walked away. Despite his quiet demeanor, Howard secretly mobilized his men to find out who was responsible for his son's death. Before leaving for London, Frank arranged a family reunion in Puerto Rico, where they rented on the beach. While strolling along the shore, they encountered Manuel, a mysterious local known for his quiet nature, refueling his boat. Later that evening, Frank and his extended family gathered for a dinner party. The day after Bobby's funeral, Quentin informed Howard about Frank's true identity as an FBI agent disguised as Otto. Quentin also learned that Frank would be moving to London soon and that he was currently in Puerto Rico with his family for a reunion. Upon hearing this, Howard ordered Quentin to kill Frank, but Livia, Howard's wife, insisted that Frank's entire family should also be eliminated. Meanwhile, in Puerto Rico, Will, Frank's son, gave him a black t-shirt adorned with a skull emblem. Despite its eerie appearance, Frank appreciated the gift from his son. They joined other families on the beach, enjoying the serenity of the sea. On the opposite side of the beach, Howard's son, John, and his men arrived, armed with guns. During the party, Will asked his mother to step away as he had something to show her, leading them away from the crowd. Meanwhile, Frank was invited by his father to see his gun collection inside the house. Suddenly, gunshots rang out, causing chaos. Maria instructed Will to hide under a boat while Frank grabbed a gun and defended their home, shooting a man attempting to enter. Frank and his father fought back, but tragically, the entire family was slaughtered. In a desperate move, Frank ignited a gas tank, causing a massive explosion. Amidst the flames, Frank and his father emerged from the house, only to find their family dead. Frank's father was shot from behind, but he managed to stab the attacker who was strangling Frank. Maria and Will attempted to flee in a car, but they were pursued by John's men. Frank intervened, incapacitating the attackers, and raced to catch up with Maria on a motorcycle. Despite their efforts, Maria's car was shot at and overturned, leaving them in grave danger. Maria and Will, injured from the car crash, sought refuge in an empty house but found no help. As John's car approached, they fled towards the dock, but John's car rammed into them, leaving them severely injured. Frank, witnessing the horror, rushed to their aid, only to find them lifeless. He retaliated by shooting at John's car, but he was shot in the legs and arms, rendering him unable to stand. Despite his injuries, Frank attempted to fight back, but he ran out of bullets. John brutally assaulted him before dousing him in gasoline. 
An explosion ensued as Quentin ignited the gasoline, seemingly killing Frank. John and his men departed, believing their revenge was complete. Miraculously, Frank survived and found refuge by the sea. Manuel eventually rescued him. Meanwhile, Howard and his family celebrated their vengeance. However, Howard noticed an intimate moment between his wife, Livia, and Quentin. Months later, Frank returned to the scene of a murder with his friend Manuel. He took pictures and collected some weapons. Later, at the beach, he found a meaningful t-shirt from his son. Thanking Manuel, Frank headed to Florida, where he rented a room, preparing weapons and making his car bulletproof. He met his neighbors Joan, Dave, and Bumpo. Frank's first target was Mickey, whom he kidnapped to scare into revealing information about Howard's family. Realizing Frank's intentions, Mickey offered to help, wanting to escape Howard's control. Frank then spied on Howard and his family, gathering evidence of their activities. In short, Frank is on a mission to confront Howard's criminal activities with Mickey's help. Frank, seeking justice for his family's murder, placed a tombstone with his name on Howard's golf course and confronted his police colleague, Jimmy, expressing disappointment in the lack of progress in the case. Rejecting witness protection, Frank took matters into his own hands. He coerced bank officers into filling his suitcase with the Toro brothers' money and threw the rest from the building, creating chaos. Afterward, he killed the officers. The Toro brothers, furious about their money being wasted, demanded Howard's assurance of their partnership. Meanwhile, a confrontation erupted in the apartment building between Joan's noisy boyfriend and neighbors Dave and Bumpo, escalating tensions. Frank intervened when Joan's boyfriend attacked him with a knife, swiftly rendering him powerless. Grateful, Dave expressed his appreciation, revealing that nobody had ever stood up for him. Joan also thanked Frank, attempting to engage him in conversation, but he remained aloof and departed. Frank later plotted to incriminate Quentin, Livia's lover, by planning evidence and coercing him to meet at the hotel. Using Livia's car, Frank staged a scenario to trap Quentin, blackmailing him with supposed intimate photos. He engineered Quentin's delay at the hotel to arouse suspicion in Howard, who became suspicious after Mickey mentioned Quentin's presence there. The next day, Frank coincidentally encountered Joan, Bumpo, and Dave at a restaurant, where a peculiar guitar-playing stranger entered. A man named Harry intrigued Frank with his sharp gaze but eventually just sang with his guitar, claiming to know Frank and expressing a desire to sing at his funeral. Later, while Frank stopped at a bridge, Harry rammed into his car, shooting at it. Frank escaped but crashed while avoiding a pedestrian, facing Harry's gun. In a quick move, Frank used a knife to incapacitate Harry and fled in his car. Another night, John discovered a bomb under a boat carrying the Toro brothers' money and narrowly escaped its explosion, seeing Frank nearby. Meanwhile, Quentin informed Howard of the money's destruction, enraging him. When the Toro brothers demanded answers, tensions escalated. Howard, under pressure from the Toro brothers, reluctantly agrees to another chance but secretly orders Quentin to hire a Russian hitman to eliminate Frank. At Frank's apartment, Joan invites him for dinner, expressing her feelings, but Frank, still grieving for his family, cannot reciprocate. Later, a Russian hitman attacks Frank, brutally beating him as Joan and others are unaware, dancing to music. Despite Frank's desperate attempts to fight back, the hitman overwhelms him until Frank manages to pour boiling water on him and push him off the building. Joan tends to Frank's wounds as he refuses hospitalization. Soon after, Dave witnesses John, Quentin, and their men arriving at the apartment. Dave suggests hiding Frank when John and Quentin arrive, and miraculously discovers a secret room in the apartment. After treating Frank's wounds, they hide him there while facing Quentin's interrogation. Despite Quentin's torture, Dave refuses to betray Frank. Quentin leaves empty-handed, and John stations a guard outside while informing Howard that Frank is alive. Howard orders his men to gather at a club. When safe, Frank emerges and dispatches the guard. Seeing Dave's condition, Frank learns of his loyalty, considering Frank family. Frank sends Dave to the hospital, then prepares for further revenge. Frank, determined to enact his plan despite Joan's concern, retrieves Livia's car while she's at the movies and coerces Quentin to meet him using scandalous photos. With Mickey's help, Frank manipulates Howard's emotions by implicating Livia in an affair with Quentin. Mickey provides false evidence to incite Howard, who confronts Quentin, leading to Quentin's death. When Livia returns, Howard accuses her of infidelity and violently attacks her, leading to her tragic demise. Unaware of Quentin's sexual orientation, Howard's jealousy blinds him to Livia's explanations. Frank, meanwhile, prepares for an assault on Howard's headquarters. He infiltrates Howard's club and sets a bomb at the entrance. In a dramatic turn of events, Frank sets up a bomb in a bar, 
causing an explosion that allows him to eliminate remaining threats. Howard escapes, but Frank confronts him, revealing his role in orchestrating events that led to Quentin and Livia's deaths. Frank ties Howard to a car rigged with a bomb, leading to Howard's demise. Overwhelmed by guilt and grief, Frank considers suicide but has a vision of his wife, prompting him to reconsider. The next day, Frank bids farewell to Joan and leaves, leaving behind a closet full of money for his friends. He decides to become a vigilante, seeking justice for victims of crime. The story concludes with Frank embracing his new mission, signifying his journey towards redemption and purpose. And the movie ends here, thanks so much for watching, let us know your thoughts on the film in the comments section below, if you enjoyed the video please like it and also watch some of our other videos, and before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more movie